Hello everyone and welcome to another NASCAR Racing 2003 live stream. <clears throat> Excuse me. How is everyone doing today? Thank you very much for joining. Right off the bat, if you guys could please hit the like button and subscribe, I would really appreciate it. And in the meantime, I am pulling up the preview on the dash live dashboard on my laptop, which looks like we are all set. Awesome. How is everyone doing today? Thanks again for joining in. As you can tell by the title of today's video, I'm going to be attempting to recreate what Matt Bell's 2017 mid-Ohio crash from last weekend might have looked like. Because <clears throat> as you guys know, it was unfortunately not captured on camera. One of the biggest wrecks of the year wasn't actually captured, so to fill the gap, we are going to be trying to recreate what that would look like, or what it looked like, using this game, using the new NXS. 17 mod the new Xfinity series mod and the link is down in the description And I I usually do this even though there's not really a replay to show <clears throat> I'm just gonna Look at a few moments from the TV coverage just to see if Like if we can see the tire marks where on the track he hit try to give us clues <clears throat> into how we need to crash Sorry frog in my throat So you can see the tire marks through the sand trap. It said right after, it's the turn right after the start finish line, so obviously that's turn one. It's that left hand side. I wasn't too familiar with mid Ohio until I started, eh, until I started practicing for this stream using the new Xfinity mod. Now I'm somewhat familiar with the course. So you can see exactly where the tire marks are. Going into the sand trap, they're saying either failed brakes or a hung throttle, so... Also a clue about what I need to do, basically just come flying into that wall. And yeah, just more coverage, but no replay. You can see him perched up on the tire wall, right up against the fence. And he's alright, thankfully. Yeah, just a few more shots of the car. So yeah, going into turn one. So we're going to take a few laps at mid-Ohio. Going into turn one. Alright, so single race. Oh wait. The closest paint scheme I could find for the number 90 of Matt Bell was this number 90 from 2017. Gosselin. I don't, don't know who that is, I guess. Is that like Ryan Gosselin's brother? Or cousin, I should say. Mid Ohio. FSE. Freddie and Sean Enterprises, I believe that stands for. That have made some pretty awesome other tracks as well. Alright, so let's take a few laps at Mid Ohio. And by the way, I'm always trying to improve on my streams and try new things, so for this one, unless you guys hate it right away, completely hate it, I am going to be trying something that I've seen on many other live streams. People put a live sub subscriber count little window in the stream itself, and I've noticed that when certain live streamers do that, their subs start to skyrocket. So. We're just going to experiment that with that with this tiny little thing in the corner down there. If you guys don't like it, I'll turn it off. If it's bad, I'll just get rid of it next stream. I just want to try experimenting with new things. All right, so mid Ohio. And it's not really in the way at all. All right, so that was actually turn one that we just passed that we're going to need to hit the wall, but we're going to need to take a lap to get up to speed. Oops, I checked up a little too much for that. Turn two. This is the hairpin turn, sharpest turn of the track. And here's the longest straight of the track. Yeah, I made sure the sub count window was small and translucent so you can see through it so it's not completely blocking out whatever it's covering. So this is the new. 
2017 Xfinity Series mod. I haven't had too many chances to race with it yet, but it looks awesome so far. I've noticed it has pretty, pretty accurate front and rear end damage, and pretty detailed front and rear end damage like the new Monster Energy Cup Series mod does. Alright, and then we have this little up hill turn to the left, and then we go to the right, and then we are on the front stretch parallel to the pit boxes after this long... No, wait, there's a little left-hand curve after this one. Yeah, and then we're on the front stretch. Right, so here, and then there's the pit entrance to pit road. Alright, so right here is about where Matt Bell needs to start turning left, but didn't, so I'm going to slam on the brakes and hold the throttle. Alright, that wasn't bad. I didn't get up on the tire wall, but that's kind of about what happened. <laughs> Oops, hold on. I saw that the chat froze. So, I'm refreshing that. Always gotta have some sort of technical error going on with these streams. Alright, so let's take a look at the replay of what it might have looked like. I know I didn't get up on the tire wall, but... He basically, yeah, went into the turn with no brakes and, it, ooh, based on how this wall is, it's not completely straight, so I might have to hit, like, right at this, uh, corner if I want to get, like, kind of wedged up on the tire wall, so that's probably going to be where I'm aiming for next time. So, yeah, let's see one more view. I'm doing a better shot at showing you what this, uh, crash might have looked like than NBC did. Except I just didn't get up on the tire wall there. Don't use first person. I wasn't the whole time. I just wanted to the first time or the first couple times. I know you guys like the chase view in these can I recreate. Yeah, now let's do the chase view for this lap so we can get a, oops, a little bump from Suarez. traction there. I think I need some new pedals soon. My throttle on my pedal set is starting to get a little glitchy. Oops. Took that turn a little too hot. Come on, get back on the track. S's. Oops. Cut that corner a little bit. If this is I racing, it'd be telling me to slow down. Oops. Locked the brakes up there. Didn't mean to. Now I'll pull a left hand turn over the crest. And this big 180 degree right hand turn. Coming into the entrance by the pits. And the left hand curve back to get on the front stretch by the start finish line, and then right after that is that left hand turn one, which I need to go flying off of. So, all right, still not up on the tire wall, but I mean, you guys are getting an idea of what the wreck probably looked like. He either just lost his brakes, or the throttle stuck, or both going into that turn. Ouch. You can tell how hard of a hit that was just by these few attempts I've had so far. Hello, Keselowski. Slow car down there. I call it net. Oops. Sorry, is that uh, Jeff Green in that number eight? Did not mean to do that. Got into that turn a little too hot. I'm still learning mid Ohio. Basically, before I uh, 
set up the stuff for the stream, I had not raced any laps at this track at all. Whoa, I almost lost it there because my back tires just barely hit the grass. Is the sound delayed? Darn it. I thought I noticed that issue on a stream the other day. I didn't know if it was just that one or if it was happening frequently. But thank you for bringing that to my attention. I will look into that when I next chance I get. Alright, so hits the brakes. Goes nowhere. Oops. Still not up on the tire wall. We need to get up on top of the f uh, tire wall. But I was aiming for that. Uh... Is aiming right for this, so I can try to almost get wedged in the middle of that and then get propped up on the tire wall there. But not quite. Dang, I just noticed the sub counter already has five new ones since I turned that on. You guys are awesome. Taking this first turn a little too cautiously. Take it a little too slow. Two this long straight and hard on the brake shortly after that curve. Doing some more tutorials on steering wheels and calibration and whatnot. And I'm so glad I did because I re went into the settings. Uh, yeah, my uh, Logitech settings in the Logitech software for my wheel. And I didn't notice until then I accidentally had this, had this uh, centering spring strength set to 10%. So that's what was causing a lot of my wobble. And I turned that off and recalibrated my wheel and it feels a lot better. Aaron, it's still not on the tire barrier. Need to get up on the tire wall. Maybe there's something in the track I and I I can do to change that. Is there track tire barrier grip or track tire wall grip? Track wall grip, all that stuff. I wonder if there's something for the yeah, track tire barrier grip. Oh, came in a little too hot that time. I was worried about taking this first hairpin turn a little too cautiously, and that time I was, took it a little too fast. That's the way to look at the chat for a second, and I almost went off the track. Hard on the brakes. I think this one I keep braking for just slightly too soon each time, too. sure it was at the correct uh, degrees of rotation that a stock car usually is anywhere from 720 to 900. the right tire wall, Cody. Alright, luckily my car I don't think is really damaged from that, so I can still go with this attempt. Because I'm coming right up on the part of the track that I need to go off of. Just a couple, couple more curves. Oh. Alright, so... Darn it, still not up on the tire wall. Alright, after a couple more tries, I'm maybe going to go into the mid-Ohio track on I 
I and I file and to see if I can tweak the tire barrier, tire wall settings or whatever I need to do just for the sake of this reenactment video. I always keep a original backed up version of the track with all its default settings so once I'm done tweaking it for my purposes I just delete my modified version so then I can go back to the original unmodified version if I ever need to do something else with that same track Starting to get a little better at that turn. This one as well. I feel like this turn has always been a little tricky for me. Oh, and that one. I keep cutting that first S. Then this right hand, and then up this straight away, and then up the left hand curve. Over the crest. Breaks there. Took that turn a little too wide. Here we go. Back on the front stretch. Alright. Hung throttle. Locked up brakes. Alright, we got a little up in the air and almost got up on the tire wall, but not quite. I still think I need to hit right where that little corner is to try to get my front end wedged and up on the wall that way. All the tire marks in the previous attempts. Yeah, I broadsided the wall a little too much that time instead of head on. Right, let's go back to cockpit view for this attempt. And when I was doing the degrees of rotation calibration uh, set up for my wheel. I was making sure in NR2003 in cockpit view the little center stripe uh, on the wheel is rotating at the exact same uh, at the exact same spot as my controller wheel. And I look down and have them lined up be in the exact same spot when I'd rotate the wheel around so I knew oops oops all right well I'm still gonna try in this attempt see what happens when I try to talk and drive at the same time I feel like I can usually go a little faster in cockpit view. That's what I'm used to racing in. Chase view I'm used to crashing in. Oops, don't hit that pit road wall. On the throttle, lock brakes. Still not up on the tire wall. All right, I'll try two more times before I try tweaking a couple things in the settings to try to. See if I can maybe adjust the tire wall grip or just the wall grip. See if I can turn that setting up enough to kind of prop me up on top of the wall if I hit it at a fast enough speed. The same way you'd turn the wall grip up in a track to try to climb the wall if you wanted to have like a Carl Long type rollover. 
the first example that popped into my head. Oh. Get off the grass. Okay. Throttle, no brakes. Still not up on the wall. I mean, the wreck. I mean, I'm sure me veering off the track and going into the wall based on the tire marks and the TV coverage, I mean, it looks about right, but in order for this to be a complete reenactment, I need to end the crash properly. Fresh the chat. Alright. Because apparently it's behind or frozen. Alright, so one more attempt. I'm gonna try see if changing a few settings around will help me accomplish what I need to do. And once again, like last Saturday, I am on call for my uh, videographer job, so if I get a call and need to end the stream right away, that is why. It's not a medical emergency, it's not a family emergency, I'm just getting called on. Shoot. That's why I had to get down to first gear. Engine braking.exe has stopped working. Spend a lot of time in first gear with this track. With all these narrow, quick turns. By the way, as of right now, absolutely nothing has been modified of this track. This is the complete default version of the Mid-Ohio FSE. I'm probably going to try making some setting changes in a couple moments, just so the wall grip and stuff, just to try to help with this crash reenactment. Oh, I got up a little in the air, but I need to get stuck on top of the tire barrier. Still no luck with that yet. I mean, every crash is probably... For the most part, on point, he just kind of veered off the track way too quickly, either from the brakes failing or the engine getting, or the throttle getting hung. I just need to end it properly by getting actually stuck on top of that tire barrier. So you guys have gotten like 20 different looks at what the wreck might have looked like, but now we're going to exit out quickly. We're going to go into the tracks folder. The sub count thing is going to go away and the chat for a second because I don't have that for the monitor capture screen, just for the game screen. Let's find Mid-Ohio. Where are you? Mid-Ohio FSE track I and I. And remember, we are using the uh, GNS physics, but it doesn't look like there's a separate section for GNS settings. So let's try this first. Track. Wall grip if I'm going to try to get like stuck and not and have the wall way slow me down I'm gonna turn it decently up to like eight track tire wall grip eight track tire I need to get a better setup for my keyboard track tire 
barrier grip eight. Oops. All right, let's see if those three things does anything to help try to wedge my car up on the wall when I hit it and slow my car way, to, way down, way more than it already is. All right, loading the game back up. Single race, mid Ohio. Attempts. Who's gonna break first? About the same time there, except he's got the inside advantage. Then I'll have the outside momentum advantage if I don't get loose there. turn a little too hot, but I saved it. Kind of just drifting through that whole corner. So I downshifted at a slightly too high of speed, but not quite enough to where it brought my car all the way around, but that almost did. turns before the straightaway and we get to test the new settings on this tire wall. Alright, basically just mashing the throttle and brake going into this turn. Nope. Oh, not really any difference yet. I didn't really see any noticeable difference that attempt. Is the chat really lagging that much? If so... I mean chat equals ultra lag. I see it right here. Or maybe I just didn't click back on the window. It seems to be working fine. I don't know. I'll have to review this stream afterwards and see what technical issues I'm having that I'm not noticing live. I do notice something I want to change though. It's real quick. Edit scene. I'm just moving the chat over ever so slightly. There we go. So it's a little bit more in line with the two. With the face cam window up top and then the live sump count window down below. I almost flew off the track there. Adjustments I should be making when I'm not live, but I just noticed it right now, and if I didn't change it right now, I'd probably forget. R. Black Jr., who is that? I do not recognize that paint scheme, though. Oh, got a little loose coming out of that turn.
was worried he was gonna I was gonna hit that car in front of me if I didn't check up in those turns and get a little bit of a gap going there because yeah I almost did even though I did check up Ray Black Jr. Ouch. I mean, so we basically know what the crash looked like. I just need to get a proper end result. Awesome. What a concept. My car doesn't magically wiggle back, or my uh, wheel doesn't magically, like, go back and forth on its own when I turn that centering spring off that I didn't know I had on. What a concept. I mean, it was only on 10%, so it still wasn't much, but still, I suppose I should use the clutch here so I don't blow my engine. <laughs> it's upshifted without using the clutch. A little better at this track, kind of. Close. Got up in the air, but I don't think the settings I did last time I tweaked the track I and I file did anything. So I haven't noticed any difference. I mean, I got up in the air, just not enough to get all the way up on top of the tire wall. Except I was like in the air before I even hit the wall, that's what it was. Eh, right there isn't a bad thumbnail for next time. Sound is delayed, that's what someone said before, I'm gonna have to go into my audio settings in OBS after this uh, stream is over and see what kind of kind of delay I need to put in to offset whatever delay is going on right now. I apologize for that in the meantime, and I'd really appreciate it if you guys just putting up with it for the next 25 minutes, since I have no way of being able to fix it. Well, I would, but I would basically have to put this entire stream on hold to fix it. It's going to power through the next 25 minutes, and I'll try to fix whatever delay is going on afterwards by tweaking my sound settings and OBS. But once again, thank you for bringing it to my attention, because if you guys didn't say anything, I'd otherwise have no way of knowing. As I go off the track there, took that turn a little too hot. And before you guys ask, I did not catch the Bristol race last night. I did not. Yeah, I was out golfing last night from around 5 to 8 my time, and I had this stream originally scheduled for today. And it wasn't until after I got back from golfing and got back home on my computer did I realize that I accidentally had this stream scheduled for yesterday at 1, not today at 1. So literally at the same time I had another stream going on yesterday, though. Can I recreate Kyle Petty's 2003 Bristol crash? And I remember someone mentioned at the chat in the beginning of the stream, they said they got a notification for that one and this one at the same time, and I got confused at first. Brake and gas, hung throttle. Darn it, still not getting up on top of that tire wall. I'm trying to go in fast enough, but still mushing the brakes to try to... Oops. To try to get stopped immediately after I hit that tire wall. I'm not sure what I need to do. I tried changing the 
track wall grip, track tire wall grip, and track tire barrier grip in the track I and I, but it didn't seem like that did any difference. Certain tracks, I don't know what it is programmed with them, but certain tracks that uh, tire wall or the, not the tire wall, the track wall and track safer barrier grip, grip track armco grip, certain tracks that just doesn't have any effects when you tweak that stuff in the I and I file. the grass. It's the same turn I went off last time and I took a little too hot this time. Get back on. Off road in there. So we get overtaken by William Byron. Let's get that position back. Oops. What happened in there? I don't even know why I bothered to shift up in the second that this downshifted immediately back to first. Oh, I bumped him, he bumps me back. An eye for an eye. A bump for a bump. Right. Gas and brakes. Replicating a hung throttle. I mean, ouch, but still no luck getting on top of that tire wall. I mean, basically any one of these attempts where I flew off the track with the uh, the hung throttle could count as what his wreck looked like. I just need to be resting on top of the tire wall by the time I'm done with it to complete the reenactment. The icing on top of the reenactment cake. I think I'm going to start streaming on Twitch again soon. I'm going to look up if there's a way. I know there is. I just need to research how I can stream both to Twitch and YouTube, my YouTube channel, at the same time. I completely did that on purpose. I just wanted to see how hard of a wreck I could have caused there, but it wasn't nearly as hard of a wreck as I thought it was going to be. Just wanted to see it going head on into that wall at a high rate of speed. What that would have done, but not really much of anything. Still a cool test for the damage for this mod, but. Alright. Stop goofing around, Cody. Gained 15 subscribers since I turned that live count thing on. And for those of you laughing at me being impressed, yes, I know it's not PewDiePie numbers, but it's still a lot for me, and it was definitely more than I was expecting to get just during the duration of this stream. It's like a new subscriber every couple minutes. And I don't know why I said sub subscriber weird there. I, like, hesitated in the middle of saying it. So I think my next big purchase towards my rig is going to be an actual racing seat. Not an office chair, not one that swivels back and forth and that is really uncomfortable to sit in after a while. I'm going to get an actual racing seat with like mounts for the pedals and wheel and eventually a actual stock car shifter, not just the paddle shifters that I'm using right now. That would be cool if NASCAR had paddle shifters, though. Oh. Alright. On the throttle. I kind of had to go it at the wall at a weird angle, because I was trying not to hit that car that was in front of me, which I would have if I didn't turn. This little pink and white car in front of me. Still no luck getting on top of that wall. Oh. 
Get back on the truck. No. Jesus Christ. Alright, stop watching for a second, guys. Alright, you can watch again. Just for the sake of saving me some embarrassment, don't watch while I was flailing around off the track trying to get back onto the pavement. Sound still delayed, I'm assuming. It didn't fix itself. Like I'm hoping it's going to. Maybe next stream I'll just try restarting. I know I haven't restarted my computer in at least a few days, so maybe I'll try that. Let's get a fresh reboot. Maybe that will reset everything and my sound won't be delayed. Sometimes just a simple fix like that actually helps. Immediately after the stream, I'm going to try shutting down my computer, just letting it cool down for a few minutes. Just God knows how much stress this thing is. It's not like a super amazing, like super powerful, high-tech gaming computer. It's just like a higher middle-end PC that can handle video editing and gaming. It's not necessarily built for it, though. Awesome. Is that it? I'm saving that. Whoa. I almost ripped my headphones out of the headphone jack in my laptop. We finally got stuck in the wall. <laughs> I mean, that, that looks a little funny, but... I mean, that's definitely the closest I've gotten this whole stream. I'm going to save that. I mean, I'm, like, kind of in the fence a little bit. Delay is off by about two seconds. Alright, so since I know it's about t two seconds, thank you for the info, by the way. I'll try seeing if I can make a really quick adjustment. In OBS. Actually, I'm just going to let the car sit here and hopefully get to a stop, like stop swaying. Because I will make a reenactment video. I'll do all the usual camera angles, recreating what you saw on TV with the ticker and everything else. Like the safety trucks pulling up, just like the helicopter shots and everything, but then afterwards... I will have a little cutaway to a few fictional TV replays showing the crash I just did, showing how it might have happened. Alright, so now that I have that all saved, I just wanted to have a long period of the replay after the crash to have saved. Alright, so that. And my car started bouncing a little bit when I came back from the pause menu and it kind of jerked my steering wheel and kind of shook the car a little bit again. But Matt Bell, Mid Ohio Crash 1. Alright, so obviously, definitely the closest we've gotten, but still have 15 minutes left in the stream. No need to end now. We can still. Perhaps get a even closer attempt in the next 15 minutes. Obviously, we have to do our wa wrong way wreck at the end. The Moabo, the mother of all big ones, as I like to call it. So, that's a little rough idea of what... Matt Bell's crash might have looked like since NBC wasn't able to get it. It's basically either failed brakes or a hung throttle or both. This went flying off the right side of that track in turn one and...
nailed that tire wall and got perched up on top of it. You're welcome, NBC. Just the name being Goslin instead of Bell on the back windshield is going to be the only visual flaw in terms of like paint schemes and whatnot. But this would be an awesome test. This is an awesome test. I use for the uh, new Xfinity mod to try to this for a reenactment, which it looks like maybe successfully got. Which I'll probably start editing that if I can't get any better in the next 15 minutes or so. And that'll probably be what I'm going to do for the rest of the day. I do have a Rusty Wallace, the Can I Recreate Rusty Wallace's 88 Bristol Flip. was supposed to have that scheduled for later tonight, but I'm going to probably possibly change the time just to make sure that's not interfering with the Bristol race. So I'll try to get... Oops. Nope. So I'll try to get better with that, making sure when I schedule my streams it's not in the way of any actual races. Oh, yeah. OBS. Settings. Audio. Push to talk delay. I don't know. I'm just going to re try restarting my computer because I don't know what any of that stuff means. And then I saw mic delay and push to talk delay, but I don't know if any of those were just delay in general. Or just the regular game audio coming out of the speakers. So I'm just going to. If you guys don't mind, I'm just going to push through the sound being a little off for the next 10-15 minutes. If you guys could just bear with it, that'd be awesome. Did I seriously blow a tire? Oh no. Looked like my right front was down at first. And yeah, I'll try rebooting my computer, doing some tests afterwards to see what the issue... Or the, what's causing the issue of the sound being delayed. See if I can fix that after the stream is over. If you guys don't mind dealing with it for the next 10 minutes. Oh. Getting loose plus hitting the, gra the grass while hitting the accelerator does not mix. They got worse. Wonderful. I think it just might be a stream thing as of right now. Something with my computer. I'm just going to have to try doing a reboot. See, I haven't restarted my computer for a while, so that might just be a simple cause of what's causing that. Right. Nope, not quite. Ouch. is Gosselin's car, obviously, by the nameplate on the rear windshield, but it's the closest I could find. I couldn't find a Matt Bell number 90 paint scheme in my list of go-to websites that I usually search around for new paint schemes. I hadn't seen one yet, so this is the next closest one I had available. That is why I'm using Gosselin's car. It's still a number 90 with the same paint scheme, just a different name on the name on the rear windshield. Oh, you bastard. He bumped me and that got me off the track enough to get out of control. A little Eric J. 
Jones. Yeah, especially if I try a wreck like extremely shortly after they happen in real life. <laughs> The fence just chewed me up and spit me out. But yeah, especially if I try reenactments extremely shortly after they happen in real life, a lot of times the newest up-to-date paint scheme isn't available yet or I don't know where to find it. The wall just chewed me up and spit me out. I was stuck in the wall for a second. It literally just... Is, is this going to be a good reenactment as it flings me up through the air and then... Nope. Get out of here. I need to add a sound effect to that. Oops, no. God damn it, I need a new mouse. This one's been acting up. It either doesn't click or it double clicks, like it keeps doing right there. Like I'm only hitting it once, but it's registering me as hitting the scissor thing twice there. There we go. Matt Bell Mid Ohio Crash Funny Felt like that one was worth saving. Alright, this is probably gonna be the third to last attempt right here. And then I'll try my best. I have no idea where I'm gonna do it. Well, I'll try to do a backwards Moabo wreck somewhere at uh, this track. Probably this straightaway, like right at the curve, would be my best bet. Or like right before the curve. Yeah, like when they're probably at the highest speed they're going to be at this track. Yeah, before they hit the curve and then are hitting the brakes for this turn after the curve. Sound delay is bugging me. That's really something unsettling. Knowing that there's a technical glitch, an error going on with my live stream as it's happening, and I can't really fix it at the moment. Gonna need to wait till after the stream is done. I can review the file, see how much it's delayed by, see if it gets more and more over time. Reboot my computer and see if that fixes it. Just something unnerving. Knowing that there's technical errors going on right now, I can't fix. Alright, mashing the gas and the brakes to replicate a hung throttle. And just trying to hit that little corner, right where that little corner in the wall, the tire wall is. To try to get wedged up in there, but it didn't quite work that time. Alright, two more attempts. I'm gonna restart the race session just to get rid of the old tire marks and kind of re spread out the cars out throughout the track. I think I said out too many times there. Spread the cars out throughout, out on the, throughout the track. Out. Cut that corner. The track is mid Ohio. It says in the title. Alright, make sure I don't overshoot this corner like I usually do. I think this is the trickiest corner, these turns right here. The scissors turns and then this one immediately after it are usually seem to be the trickiest for me. So I always have a tendency to overshoot this turn right here. Oops. 
<laughs> shift down to neutral and try revving then. That would do me much good. and th or brake and throttle oh I almost you see for a second there I almost got stuck kind of in the wall slash up on top of the wall but then it kind of spit me out again I was kind of stuck on it for a second but yeah then I hit something that made me shoot back out into the sand pit alrighty guys the last attempt before I cause the moabo and then get going. I'll see you. I forgot exactly what time the race is, my time. Bristol race later, but I'll see if I can reschedule my stream I had going later for today. But can I recreate Rusty Wallace's 1988 Bristol flip? Let's see if I can reschedule that to before or after the race. If I have time to do it before. I might not have time to do it before. Oh, a little too hot. It's like the third or fourth time that's happened in this video, in this turn. Shifting the second right there, I just immediately have to go back down to first. Seven Eastern, all right, so it's six my time. All right, so if I do it at nine or ten, that should be either getting done, rise I'm starting, or it should already be done if I do it nine or ten my time. It should easily be done by ten. There's no way a race is going four hours, unless it's rain delayed. Last attempt. Brakes and throttle. Darn it. Alright, so I guess I'm editing that other one. Well, I guess I'll get a vote. I mean, I'm pretty sure that one's edit-worthy. I mean, it looks a little funny the way my car is kind of teetering on the wall for a second. But the hit itself and the way the car is kind of stuck there is basically the same way Matt Bell hit the wall. Not this attempt, the one I saved. So, quickly, a poll before we get into the Moabo. It's such a funny word to say. Do you want me to edit this attempt that I just got and saved? Or would you like me to do a part two? I would personally like to edit this attempt, have the way the car is up on the wall, edit it with, together with all the replays that you saw on TV, just showing the aftermath, and then have a couple fictional TV camera angles afterwards, after like the TV part. So, vote if you would like me to edit this attempt the way I just explained, or if you want me to do a part two. Let me know down in the comments. I'll let, or I'll, uh, I'll post two comments after the video is done processing once the comments are available after the live part. And then, yeah, I'll say thumbs up for either editing the attempt or to do a part two. I personally want to edit it because I like making new reenactments. Alright, and everyone's saying edit in the live stream. Alright, turning that up to the max number and we are going to go into race. And I think this is going to be weird going backwards. But yeah, I think that first straightaway, right after that hairpin turn, is probably going to be the best spot to get him at. It's going to be weird going backwards on a track I just learned how to go forwards on. Quickest black flag ever. The S is in reverse. Alrighty. 
here's that big curve, so here's that straightaway. So I'm gonna try to get him right before they pass this curve, so right after I pass it. Here they come. Gonna let the spare the first guy. Kind of hard to create a big one on a big spread out track like that, but it kind of worked. They're still piling in. We'll try it once more just for fun, but that worked a little bit better than I thought it would. I didn't. Ooh, the 44 got close right as I was saying that, but I was about to say I didn't see any rollovers. Yeah, the 44 got close right there, but. No such luck. And they kept piling in afterwards. Alright, we'll try that once more. Let's see if we can get a rollover. Next time. Glitched out my laptop for a second. I'm gonna try to get a little bit more speed too. All right, looks like they already started the race. And here's the last big curve I need or turn I need to take. I'm gonna spare the first guy again. I wanna hit a cluster of cars. I guess that worked. Only well, we got our rollover I wanted, but I don't think anyone else was involved. We'll have to see. At least we got a rollover. <laughs> That's all that matters. Unless that black car bounced back into traffic. No, he did not. One more time. Actually, since we can't get really huge wrecks at mid-Ohio going backwards, it's hard to get a huge pileup at certain road courses. Let's go to Talladega 70s, 80s, as someone suggested before. And just do one lone green flag lap. Trying to get as many. Or trying to basically see how big of a wreck the AI caused. Because they're guaranteed to cause a big wreck with how this track is programmed. This version of the track. It's just a matter of if I can make it through or not. Le Mans has two or three straightaways. Are you talking about Circuit de la Sarthe? Is that the Le Mans track you're talking about? I love pronouncing that too. We're not going backwards, we're doing wreck avoidance drill this time. Because they're going to crash on their own. As you can see, they're going to crash on their own probably momentarily. Oh, well, there they go. They're not done wrecking, though. That's not the end of it. Still gonna be more of those cars up front. And I turned off realistic weather, so I'm not gonna be going as fast with this version of the track as I usually do, but still fast enough. Still over 210. Come on, pile up. One more pile up. Coming out of the 
trial wall, it happens quite frequently too. Not this time though. Alright, blow over time. Oops. That didn't happen. We're gonna redo that. We're gonna get up to the front of the, tr the pack this time and then cause our own wreck. Yes, I know, I'm just kind of screwing around with bonus time now. Well, that's one way to roll over. Oops. Meant to slow down. I honestly didn't think I was going to start flipping there at first. Alright. Last attempt. Or just... Not attempt, just a chance to cause a huge wreck, except I'm going to go to the front this time and try to be the start of the wreck and do it in a spot where a lot less cars are going to make it through. Or, sorry, I know I'm being indecisive and just being really unorganized now, but I'm actually turning realistic... God damn it. Sorry guys, that's the end of the stream. The game just crashed, and I know the way it crashed, I'm going to have to reprogram all my settings back the way they were. And I'm not going to do that just to cause one wreck, so... Unfortunately, that's the end of the stream. I apologize. Wasn't counting on the game crashing there. Alright, so let me know. Just like I said, I'm going to post two comments in the... Two comments in the comments. Uh... Asking you guys to vote for each comment, give a thumbs up. I'll say one for editing that attempt and the other for a part two. It looks like everyone wants me to edit. Oh yeah, by the way, here's this, just so you guys know I'm not lying. Has stopped working. I'm not lying. It actually crashed. But, uh, yeah, that's about it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please hit the like button and subscribe. Check out my uh, future videos. Got social media links down in the description, Twitch, Twitter, and Facebook I am on. Go check those out for those of you interested, and I think that's about it. Hope to catch you all at the next stream. Until then, hope you all have a good rest of your day. Peace. Bye.